So hey guys, this is Vishwit and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I will show you how you can work with zip files using Python. So currently in this specific video, I'm going to show you how you can compress a file using the zip file module. I have opened my Jupyter notebook on the left hand side and the file explorer on the right hand side. And this is my current working directory. So if I do exclamation ls, okay. So you can see all the files that are present over here are listed. Let me do pwd and this is the current working directory. C, C users will be desktop create and extract zip. Same as this one. So what is a zip file? A zip file is actually an archive file using which you can compress data. You can store multiple files inside that zip file. So for example, if you have 10 files, you can uh, put those files in a particular folder and you can share it to your friends or you wh or what you can do you can uh, put those files inside a zip file and you can share it to your friends so both of them works so for example if i have a file over here for example data this is this, this these are some few of the files i can zip them okay i have a third party program which helps me to zip them if i do this this becomes a rare file but if i change this so now this becomes a zip file so you can see i have two files that got zipped together so zip file helps you manage different files different uh, like multiple files in one in one single file also it supports compression so you can do you can compress your files so it, it will make the file size less now I will show you what are the advantages of using a zip file. So as I already mentioned that using zip file, you can put multiple files in one single file and you, it gives a dot zip extension. So the advantage of dot zip extension is your editors can directly open a zip file. So it gives an added level of security to it. And the second advantage is it compresses your file. So you can tell your zip file, please compress it. So it will try to reduce the size of your files or file so i'll show you how you can work with zip files using python so i have to import from zip file import star okay and you can do shift enter okay and it got executed and if you have not watched my jupyter notebook shortcuts video i definitely recommend please do watch that video now first thing is how you can create a zip file and we'll put one file inside of that so for that i will do with zip file and you have to pass a file name maybe i'll pass the name as compress.zip okay and since we are planning to create this zip file we have to pass the mode as write and uh, here there are two uh, few more parameters so if i do shift and tab uh, i can see there are a few more parameters like compression and compress label so you can check the documentation over here if i click this okay it sticked this whole documentation below my screen now i need compression so because I want to do compression. So there are different algorithms that are used. For example, there is zip stored, which does not give you any compression. And there is something called as zip deflated. And it is the most famous uh, compression algorithm that is used. So I'll, I'll use this zip deflated. And I think we are done. Let me increase the screen size. Yep. And we'll do as zip file object why zip file object because it is actually a zip file object now what we will do zip file object dot write and for example we want to write a single file so this is our current working directory okay and i want to put this books dot csv file inside of it so how can i do that so dot write i'll pass this books dot csv and if I do and shift and enter, you can see compress.zip, it got created. And now I'll show you a little bit more. 
so previously our file size was around 1.5 1.48 mb okay you can check it is 1 1523 kb okay but now after compressing it it is 604 kb so almost like less than half of the size of the csv so this is one of the advantages of uh, like the zip file and this is actually the most important advantage that you can compress your files so this is how you can compress a single file so here i have shown you i am passing compression as diff as zip deflated but we also have another more control over it we can also control the level up compression that we want so if i come over here and if i delete my zip file from here and if i check the documentation for this you can see there is also called as the compress level okay so if you are using zip deflated we have the option of specifying how much compression we want so it is the integers between 0 and 9 are acceptable and 0 being that we are not using any compression and 9 means we are using heavy compression so let's show you this in action so i want to do some level up compression so if i give compression level as 0 and if i execute this part okay let me put it over here if i do this you can see the file size is 1.523 kb same as the files same as the csv file which i compressed so inside if this i go okay books or csv it is having that 1.5 1.45 MB something like that. 1.48 MB something like that. So this is not at all compressed. Now if I delete this, we don't require to delete it. Also, if we execute this, this file will get overwritten. So for example, let me keep it over here, and I'll give the compression level as uh, maybe five. And if I do Shift Enter, okay, you can see. the file size got changed so you don't have to delete it it is going to automatically going to overwrite it so this is now 608 kb okay the compression level we gave it as 5 now if we pass it as 9 and if i do it so yeah so you can see the compression level again like we can see the file size is 602 and the compression level is at the highest which is which is 9 so we can see the file size got reduced to 602 kb so in this way you can control the level of compression that you want I am assuming uh, most of the time we'll keep the compression level as nine itself, so that our files are much more compressed.